Welcome back to Living 808. Although the pandemic has been officially declared over, well, for a while now, the mental and physical health effects of the pandemic could be with us for decades to come. Dr. Teresa Weed joins us now with more, and we're talking about COVID again because she wrote all about it in her book, which is going places. So <laughs> hello, Dr. Weed. Thanks so much hello. for being here. Good morning. All right, and I'm not going to lie. We've talked about COVID for so long, for so many years. I kind of don't want to talk about it anymore. Yes. And I think most people don't. But unfortunately, I mean, the effects are going to be sticking with us for a long time, whether you agree with how it was handled or not. At the end of the day, we were all affected and are going to continue to be affected. It's still a thing. So when we talk basics, what are the symptoms of COVID? So COVID can have the symptoms of common respiratory illnesses and, you know, cough, runny nose, muscle aches, body aches, headaches. And so... What you have to do is you have to take the test or talk to your doctor, because if you do have it, we now know more about it and there's treatments. Right. And that's something yeah. in terms of the changes of recent times. Mm -hmm. I mean, different guidelines have changed. So now yes. if you do test positive, which again, I know people when they get sick, they're still taking the test as they should. What are the guidelines now? So in March, they came out, CDC came out with new guidelines. We treat it like any other respiratory illness to, you know, whether it's the flu. If you have very mild or improving symptoms and um, you're fever free for 24 hours without, you know, using fever reducing medications, you can think about resuming activities. But if you do resume activities, you should be, for five to 10 days, you should be wearing a mask, washing hands and, you know, staying away from, you know, people who have chronic illness. Yeah, still be mindful. Be, still try to... Basically be mindful. Yeah, try to protect everyone around you. Yes. All right. And um, I just had my own curiosity because when the pandemic started, obviously we didn't know what mm -hmm. this thing was, you know, what exactly. the effects were going to be. And so, uh, you know, we locked down hard to, to mm -hmm. mitigate and to try to figure out what, while it was figuring out what was happening. When it first came about, people, a lot of people were dying. Um, people were losing their sense of taste and smell. Yes. Is that still happening? Are people still dying? Are people still losing their senses? You know, um, loss of taste and smell, um, as well as diarrhea and sometimes mental confusion, those are three symptoms that kind of differentiate it, you know, from other illnesses. But that's still going on. Oh, yes. And, okay. you know, but people are still dying of influenza and RSV and we have strep throat. And so, you know, basically m my mantra in my office, in my practice is, guys, we got to prevent the illness from even starting. So this is where a healthy immune system is, is so vital. So what I mean by that is, come on, guys, we got to stop eating all the ultra processed food. Let's try to eat healthier turn off the screens, move daily, get some good sleep, go outside and get sunshine. Not today, but, you know, in Hawaii, that vitamin D is so vital to help fight viruses, yes. as well as de-stressing. Mm -hmm. Being healthy, having a healthy immune system, so that any type of virus that yeah, you get. Yeah, and it'll you help you help get fight. over COVID even better. There you go. All right, good to know. All right, but we're talking about COVID again. Well, one, because it's still prevalent, but two, it's really prevalent for you because you wrote a book about it. So during the pandemic, you were kind of diarying, diarying? Yeah, <laughs> you're, journaling. You're journaling about it. It's in a diary. Anyway, tell us about your book because it's So when COVID stuff. started, March 23rd, 2020 to December, I wanted to stay in touch with my patients, my families, my loved ones. Mm -hmm. I started to journal my anxieties, fears, um, uncertainties. I wanted to reach out and keep in touch with people. And so basically I, I did this every day, ending it with a scripture every day because I've, that was dear to my heart and it gave me comfort. Well, lo and behold, I didn't realize many people all over the world we're reading it, and the publisher of my first book at, in December said, Teresa, you really need to put this in a book. So that's the result of my COVID-19 diary, Practical mm -hmm. Tips and Scriptures for Improbable Times from an American Doctor. And you can find it online. You can it's buy on it Amazon. as well. And you just came back from a book signing too. Yes. So um, I went to the London Book Fair and did three days of book signing and, and just a, a meeting a lot of people and publishers. So there's a lot of buzz now mm -hmm. going on with my book, my COVID-19 diary. 
Perfect. Well, congratulations. I'm yeah, so happy you. for you. Well deserved. And if you want to catch it again, you can uh, grab it on Amazon. Now, I know you at wewellnesscenter.com, all the details there, and of course, the walk with the doc info. Yeah. Um, but, you know, when you talk about COVID, again, we're not done with it just yet. What do you see as the long term effects, physical, but also more so mental? Yeah, there, you know, I think the, the mental effects, you know, at least 50% of our youth have been affected mm -hmm. with the social isolation, the school closed down. Um, adults have experienced job loss, financial difficulties, um, problems at home. So we have the mental effects as well as the physical effects. The obesity crisis has mm -hmm. been escalated. Um, people no longer are going for their screening or annual checkups. So now we're seeing cancer. Uh, we're seeing, you know, chronic illness skyrocket. So really, my message to everyone is to get back, see your doctor, your primary care doctor. But I also want to put a shout out to our health care workers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we were called superheroes, but we're also human beings and we went through a lot. So I want all your viewers to know if, if your doctor is there helping you, you know, just say a thank you. You know, sometimes it feels like a very thankless job, but, but we're also experiencing um, loss from COVID. Maybe we ourselves have had COVID. And so, so we just need to be kind to one another and show compassion to one another because we're all feeling the after effects of COVID. Yes, and, and when you can, show your gratitude. Thank you so much, Dr. Wee. Oh, we really appreciate you. you being here. Congratulations on the book. And again, she always does the walk with the doc when you talk about being yes. healthy and fit. Every, every Saturday. Central Law Regional Park perfect. from 8 to 9. So tomorrow it's happening? Yes. All right, perfect. Rain or shine? Then? Rain or shine. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. All right, we'll have all the details <laughs> on our website, kh 2com But get out there and go for a walk tomorrow. It's the 13th. Perfect day to do so.